All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are fueled up and on the road. We're only about maybe 10 or 15 minutes into our three hour trip. But we are loaded down pretty heavy. We got the camper behind the truck, the bed's full, back seat's full. Christian's got stacks in the windshield. So, ready to go. we're riding heavy. What's the weather report today, Christian? Weather report. Give us the give us the meteorologist style report. Our current location is 52 degrees. 100% uh, chance of thunderstorms. <laughs> Although it's of not course. it's not raining right now. Yeah, it's literally not raining, but 100% chance. And like we got all these hours of rain, and rain. Yeah. Just the rain until tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be messy, but uh, after the rain comes, it's supposed to be actually be nice up here where we're going. We just stopped about, I don't know, five minutes away from my house, ten minutes away from my house. Got us some breakfast, and we're heading out to Katusa. The hog was hunt. Late. Yeah, Christian was 40 minutes late. You know. <laughs> no. The usual. I was, um, I was late, and I was at my house, so I should tell you something. Uh, but we're about to jump on the interstate. We're going to roll out get up there we got about a three hour and some change drive still got to make a walmart stop um, once we get up there we're gonna i'll do a little time lapse of setting up the camera setting up the camera setting up the camper and um we'll see what happens All right, we're at Bucky's. It's that time. We got the truck fueled up. Got my dented gas can getting fuel put in it. Christian's filling up the uh, generator. We got spare gas. So far, we've gone 130 miles and uh, we're doing good. So, no problems with the truck so far. Uh, everything's running good. We got all our food picked up. Uh, camper's great, uh, nothing but awesomeness right now. So we're about. It's cold. That's about all. It, it is cold, That's super pretty, cold. I can't feel my fingers. My fingers. Fingers. I can't feel my fingers. And the weather is uh, cold. Cold. <laughs> it's cold right here. Okay. The campground, only ones up here. There's a few people down the road there a little bit. I don't know if you can see them down there. Right at the very top. mucky nasty out here hopefully the rain goes away and then it'll be pretty nice the rest of the time we're here we in here yeah so we have got the camper set up uh, i've talked to my father he is on his way up uh, coming out of nashville right now so he'll still be a couple hours out um, we are just gonna ride the game preserve a little bit and uh, just kind of see what we're looking at, see if anything has changed from years past. Uh, there's a bridge that is in question on whether it is washed out or not, because my dad is wanting to hunt the backside of a certain area. And um, hey, we got detour signs, so I don't know. We're, uh, we're gonna go find out if this bridge is still here or not, or what's going on. This bridge is closed. Oh, it's got steel girders under it. Yeah, it's not all wood. 
So I'm going to walk out here and uh, check it out. It ain't weak. I gave her a little bounce. down here to these little rapids. Stuff's really moving today. We're down here, I mean, we're down at the base. I mean, there's evergreens and beautiful rock. And it, this is all it, just taking it all in. still raining we uh scouted for what about i don't know we probably walked about a mile maybe a mile and a half had to swim across some pretty deep uh water or wade across his waist deep didn't get that on camera of course because uh why would i but uh we're gonna we're heating up some chili consulting the map and we wasted what maybe not might be good. We bought one of these. Here, will you hold that over there? Yeah, we got the uh, mystery tackle box here, the bass fishing kit. With, uh, good shot. We're going to do an unboxing. And then, if we don't get anything solid in that, we bought these guys, which is a DT6 in, I don't even know what color. It is a old school. That's the color. And this one is a, what does it say? A cotton Cordell. Cotton Cordell, and this particular one, they are a cheap little lure. Caught tons of fish on them. Here, I'll let Christian scoot them up closer. Yeah. But they're solid little lures. And All right, I picked and now up the a, unboxing. I picked up an SR5. Oh, yeah. And there's actually one other color here, too. I forgot, yeah. Oh, yeah, crawfish? Yeah, crawfish pattern. Probably a good, uh, good spring color. All right. All right, this is it. Still unbroken. It is a box. In a box. In All right. Uh oh, we got a sticker. Unfold. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. We've got the fish on sticker. Oh, God. That's going on the jet, John. What's inside? Oh, that just tells you everything in here. Fishing we, tips and tricks. We've got a Guggen squad. A banger. That's a banger. That could be a nice little bait. It's a lot of... Oh, we'll see. Oh, I'm gonna get the light right here. Cut it back on. There we go. The light's a little bright. Yeah. All right, there's one. We got a guide here, so Matt can learn how to fish. Ooh. Harmony. Yeah, that Fishing cover. Light is just very bright. Yeah. A little bit. We've some got hooks. some fishing hooks for rigging tips. Check them out online. Harmony Fishing Company. We've got a spinner bait from Carl's Amazing Baits. In mustard color. Ooh, now I like these. Big bite baits. It's pretty Pro nice series. Spinner bait. Yep. I've caught a fish on something like that. Now these right here are pretty solid. Actually, that's probably the best thing in this bag. A uh, little crawl. They're big bodied. Dark. Perfect for Cumberland. We got here Yoda worms. It's morning one. It's about what, six o'clock in the morning? Yep. My father's making his annual peanut butter ritual. BB and J, you gotta have it. I took a leak. <laughs> Christian just took a leak. Thank now you. the whole world knows. <laughs> 
we'll see what happens. We're gonna get out there and we got a spot picked out and we're gonna all get over there and see if we can push something out. There's quite a, pe quite a few people running dogs. Uh, we are not running dogs, but we're gonna get it. Uh, we're gonna position ourselves, or maybe uh, the dogs will push something our way. Check it out. I think we got a little bit more rain last <laughs> night, and uh, the bridge that we were walking on yesterday is not there anymore. No um, bridge, more rain. I don't know if it's there or not. I mean, it's probably there. It's it. hard to tell. Yeah, it's definitely there because look, the water's hitting it, rising up. It's going over and then dropping off. But yeah, this water is I mean, incredible. Like five foot deeper than it was yesterday. About 48 degrees. Yeah, 48 degrees. A lot of water. Group decision to get away from that Daddy's Creek. Uh, I mean, it's extremely flooded. It's probably up, I'd say maybe eight to 10 feet from normal. And um, you're just not gonna be able to hear anything down there. Um, it's gonna have some stuff changed up. So we come back to a place that we've hunted previously and we're gonna take the hunting cart down um, as far as we can. There's some pretty good roads back in here and uh, we'll see if we see anything. debating on uh, where to go at this point because uh, everything's in flood we can hear I mean we're a mile away from daddy's creek and we can hear it up here So we're back in here, way back in here. We just hiked off this mountain behind me. It is extremely steep. I guess this is, um, we're on the back side of Hatfield Mountain. And uh, it is steep. We have both shedded down to just, I'm, I'm literally wearing my coat. I mean, it's in the thirties and we are 
I'm sweating. It's hot and this is an extremely hard hunt, but I knew that coming in. Uh, Christian is here with me. He has just shed the coat as well. Yeah, so we're he's short sleeves and this long sleeve I have on, it's extremely thin material. And uh, that's just all I can stand right now. I'm trying not to burn up and cook. But we're down here by the main river. And my dad is actually coming off the hill up here around and we're gonna push this way. Um, see if we push anything out on one another and uh, then we're gonna link back up a little bit farther down. All right, so we're back in here in a spot that might actually pan out and we have found some relatively fresh hog poop. Um, it is full of acres, I mean packed. Christian saw the initial pile um, right right over here, right in there on the ground, probably can't see it, but there's a small pile there and then we were walking out and um, spotted this one as well. So we're probably gonna give this spot a try. It's torn up everywhere in here, so this is looking good. All right, guys, well, I'm set down down here. This is the first afternoon. Um, we found some sign here this morning and I came back to hunt and uh, the sun's just started going down. So I'm just sitting on the ground. All right, guys, it's day two. Me and Christian are out here. Um, we've, we're trying a totally different part of the game preserve. We've been driving for 40 minutes. Maybe. I'd say 30, 30, 40 minutes. And we're around uh, right on the edge on the far side and we're up pretty high. You can look out through here. There's trees obviously in the way, but you can see the mountains just all out here around us. So. We're about to drop off this hill here that looks like there's some water and a drainage down there. So we're gonna get down there and see if we can uh, hook up on something. So we'll see what happens. All right, we just hiked off this mountain. So thick, man, I'm tired. But we're down here to the water and uh, we're gonna work up and down this and see if we walk up on anything. So, see what happens. All right, we're hiking up this mountain. Came up on this little cave area under this massive rock. Oh, hang. Pretty crazy place. day. I don't know if this does justice how steep this is, but I'm standing here I'm about to climb this. Yeah. All right, so we're in spot number three on our scouting adventure. And we went out here, uh, out back of the camp Still a lot of water. This is where we crossed last night. So, I'm gonna check it out. You got it, and I'm taking your video, so. <laughs> Who barely got it. No, his hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we'll get it. 
Let me sit my gun down. Let's go. Got right through here. What you doing, bud? Racing. <laughs> I ain't got 110 inches of orange on no more. guys so we came over here to nemo tunnel and we actually drove my truck back here it's pretty rough getting in here but we made it you can see we're dry we drove back this canyon it's just absolutely massive and there's nemo tunnel it's an old train tunnel they have since built a new train tunnel and um chris is going to try to walk over there and see if he can get over there for size comparison because it just does not do just I mean this this is just absolutely huge. Let me back up here and I'll show you my truck sitting in this place, how big it is. There you go, canyon walls. Huge, huge. That's it. All right, guys, well, we made a pit stop uh, on the way to the next WMA. Stopped by here at old Caney Fork at Center Hill Dam. Still awesome. Always cool. I'm standing right above floodgate number one. This is Christian's first time ever seeing this. And uh, normally, if you've watched any of our videos, we come up through here and there's a boat ramp here as well as right here and you know we'll we'll normally jet john all up in here and there's tons of trout fishing and stuff we were hoping to maybe get a little trout fishing in today but uh it's way too flooded for any of that so 
figured I'd just share it with y'all. Got some beautiful waterfalls coming off here. And uh, this is Caney Fork on this side. Center Hill Dam on this side, which is always beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is the dam right here. I know the sun's pretty bright. Awesomeness. Alright guys, well we made it to Yonali WMA. It was about a four and a half hour drive. And uh, we can't really do any scouting, it's night. But we did kind of take a look around. There's a food plot right behind the campground. Tons of sign, tons of tracks. So um, this particular place at Yonali is uh, open same as state season. So basically, uh, there's no special permits or anything. We have, we actually have special permits. So the w, you have to have WMA. Yeah, you have to have a WMA stamp and a big gun and, or a big game and, then your normal hunting. and your normal hunting fishing license. So nothing too crazy um, for this hunt. Nice little campground. Same as any public land. Got a little fire going. We've got the camper set up right here and uh, we're ready. I'll so. tell you what, this is probably the nicest WMA I've ever stepped foot in. I mean, I've only yeah. been to Cheatham and Catoosa, but both of those places, as far as like- Coming upkeep, from Catoosa, I feel like now, we haven't been all over this place yet, but I think we came from Catoosa would be a rating of one. And so far here is looking, if it stays like it is, it's looking like a solid eight or nine. And I'm, we're talking so we're talking upkeep yeah you can just tell i mean that the, the stuff's taken care of if there's grass that's been torn up it's been strawed and taken care of just so far it looks really nice so we'll see about tomorrow uh hopefully we get a deer and um we can get the heck out of here and go home we've been out here this is our fourth fourth night, fourth night. Oh, wednesday night yeah wednesday night. thursday friday third night. yeah friday. third night tomorrow is the fourth day and uh we're gonna see how it goes so we're definitely worn out. We've walked 14 miles at Catoosa, but we're kind of sitting around a fire and rejuvenating and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Day one, we got up at about 6.40. Well, we got up about six o'clock. Christian was late. Um, got there about 6.45 and we rolled out. Um, got fueled up, truck did good. Um, hit the interstate. Uh, we were headed east out of Middle Tennessee. We're both from Middle Tennessee. So we headed east and uh, we're headed out to Catoosa. Um, got to Bucky's, fueled up. At this point, it was absolutely pouring rain and starting to get cold. And we got all our generators gassed up, truck fueled up, and then made our Walmart run, our supply run, and picked up all our groceries. And we bought stuff we didn't need to buy. Yeah, all kind of tackle, like fishing tackle, fishing a bunch hunt. of random stuff. Yeah, bought fishing stuff to go hunt. We didn't right. even get the fish because it was all flooded down there. Yeah, it was all flooded. And so we got our supply run done and headed on over to Catoosa and got the camper set up. 
Uh, it was cold, rainy the entire time. I dropped my camper off one of the jack stands because as I started to level it up, it sunk in the front and actually rolled forwards. And as bad as it sounds, it really wasn't that bad. We got it fixed pretty quick. Bent but, jack a little bit. But yeah, it bent one of the jacks slightly, but yeah, still worked. It'll be all right. So um, got the camper set up. Decided we we're gonna ride the game preserve and just kind of take a look, see if anything had changed from the years before. And uh, went down to Daddy's Creek, which is about two miles from where we camped, I would say. Maybe, maybe a little farther, actually. Yeah, a little bit. It's pretty windy getting back in there. Yeah, so a little drive over there. Got over to Daddy's Creek, and um, it was flooded, but not terrible. But it was on the way up, which at that point we did not know. But uh, it was still rising, so we checked that out. Pretty cool. The bridge that crosses is closed as well. As yes, the, the Daddy's Creek Bridge is out of commission. There's plans to have it rebuilt. I don't know any particulars yet, but I know as of right now it's closed. So um, a little later that day, my dad was coming to Katusa, so he met up with us. And um, we went and scouted and did a little hunting that afternoon. Um, on the back side of Hatfield Mountain down Daddy's Creek um, before Obed River and um, found some sign back in there about an acre's worth of sign looked pretty fresh um, hard to tell it was so rainy and messy but um, all the scratching that we found a couple piles of poop um, it had been rained on but it still looked pretty fresh so uh, at that point we were pretty excited because we thought hey um, we're on something, so um, we hunted there that afternoon. Me and Christian uh, walked like 6.7 miles back in there and um, hiking around these mountains. It was so rough and rainy and slick rocks and leaves and I don't even know what all. It was just rough, but uh, we didn't see anything, so uh, it was about dark, so we came out. Um, cooked us up a nice pot of chili mm. that my mom had made and sent with us. From the deer that we got? Yeah, that, from the deer I shot at Cheatham Game Preserve. So that was actually really good chili. Awesome. Shout out to the mother for that. Um, we ate that, went to bed, and uh, got up the next morning at what? It was getting light at 6.15. Yeah. Man, and I got I, up early and cooked us breakfast. I did. I got bacon, up. Bacon, eggs. Yeah, bacon, eggs, toast. toast. Five-star meal had to have some energy for this hunt but um, I got up cooked everybody breakfast and then we got uh, my uncle came up that next morning too or about 11 o'clock but got up cooked uh, everybody breakfast and we got out and uh, went back to that area where there was sign and um, didn't see anything still um, sign was still there no new sign but uh, so then we decided okay we're gonna split up and my dad kept hunting Hatfield Mountain with my uncle Jeff. And me and Christian went over to the opposite side, still on the bicolor side of Katusa, but we went over to a, a totally different area and hiked another, I don't know, four miles or something, something like that. Yeah. So, a lot. yeah, tons of foot walking. So we went over there. And I mean, we hiked way back in there and we're crawling through the thickest brush you could imagine. It's just right in your face. And um, the briars. Oh man, briars, mountain laurel. Uh, looked like some kind of rhododendron or something. I don't know, but it was pretty intense. It's scarred from the briars. It was crap. Yeah, it, it was rough. But we got all the way down to a creek and found a little area of sign, maybe a eight by eight. Um, that was old. So we got back in there and hiked off the mountain, got back to the creek and um, found a little bit of sign, maybe an eight by eight area, not fresh. Literally climbed our way back out of it. I mean, absolutely incredibly rough. Like, it was. Like, I mean, any steeper and you'd have had to have a ladder. I don't know how else to put it. I mean, it was insane steep. I mean, we're saying, you know, we walked, what? In Katusa, we walked 14 miles alone. Yeah. But the thing is, like, walking 14 miles and then hiking 14 miles in Katusa are two different things. And we were, like, between 14. hiking and mountain climbing. Yeah. 
I mean, like any more, like there were areas where I would have been a lot better off to have literally a rope that was that steep. And um, got out of there, didn't see any more signs. So we decided to kind of retrace our steps and go back to the first sign that we found because that was the largest sign um, that we had seen. So we ended up going back over there and hunting out our day. Didn't see anything else. Um, and then the next day, um, this is, this is Friday, Friday. Uh, my everybody is there now. Me, Christian, my dad, and Jeff. So we get up and we split up and um, go out and hunt about half a day and weren't seeing any more sign. Just uh, me and Christian decided to ride the game preserve um, in the truck and not hunting, but just uh, we drive and then get out and see if we could, you know, hike a little bit, find any sign. Uh, we were talking to people, just trying to see what was going on around the bicolor side, yeah. And uh, basically what we picked up was nobody was having any luck and um, dogs were not on any hogs. They weren't finding any trails. Uh, they were running a few deer and that's about it. I mean, it was pretty, everybody was pretty disgusted collectively seemed like. So um, with that, uh, we, me and Christian just said, okay, uh, we're gonna go back to the sign we found again. So we hiked all the way back in there again. I feel like it was our best shot. Yeah, that was our like our only shot because we had basically been all over this place. And, uh, other than there, that was the most yeah. predominant sign. Well, it's not like you can scout every inch because is 80,000 acres. So, um, we, I mean, we did scout a lot, but you know, I'm sure there was sign in other places we didn't find, but we knew where some was. So we said, okay, let's just go back there and, uh, stick it out and see if we can do it. So he and Christian hike all the way back in there, get set down. Um, I cooked myself a little bit of lunch and my phone rings is surprising i even had service but it rings and it's my dad he's back at camp and he is talking to a guy that has camped what a couple down from maybe a half mile away and right he was running dogs and he told my dad that he had killed one hog um he his dogs had ran 5,000 acres and found one trail and killed one about 120 pound sow and um one of his dogs had fallen off a cliff and died and took him three hours to get the dog's collar back because it was so steep. And um, he was basically saying, uh, and several other people were saying, um, basically the Katusa is extremely mismanaged. Like there wasn't enough hogs to have a control hunt. I, I don't know how many hogs are there. It's impossible to know, but I would feel like saying there's 10 in that whole area would probably be a safe number to say. Like, It's just pretty crazy to think that <clears throat> there were as many people in the area that we were hunting and yeah. one hog. 50-something 80, hunters. 80,000 acres. That's that's on all of it. We're on by color side, but on the Genesis right. side, no kills. No. One kill only the whole hunt. Yeah, and the so, hunt is, what, a five-day hunt? Yeah. And one hog on 80,000 acres. About 50 hunters and uh, five days, 80,000 acres and one hog killed. So that is just a joke. I mean, like we put out a lot of money to go up there to that hunt for nothing. So at that point, uh, we were pretty disgusted. We come out, my dad had to leave. Jeff left with my dad and um, me and Christian were kind of just like rolling the dice on what to do next. We didn't know whether to just stick it out and say, okay, we're going to stick in here and, you know, hope we can get on something or let's just bounce and try something else. So we decided we are not having any luck here. Cut our losses. Yeah, we're tired. It's, we've been rained on. This is rough, extremely rough terrain. Let's uh, <clears throat> find another WMA. Maybe we can do some deer hunt. We already were permitted and had all our, you know, stuff with us. So. Uh, we had already took the time off, so it was like, all right, let's go. So uh, we loaded up and went to um, Yonali in where? Columbia. Columbia. And which is, duck. yeah, duck, duck it's river. close to the Duck River. How far from here? Maybe 45, 50 minutes. Yeah, 45, 50 ish. minutes, hour ish, something like that. And uh, from, for you. yeah, we're in Middle Tennessee, um, so. Basically, we decided we're gonna go there. Uh, so we roll out of Katusa, uh, we get all packed up, roll out, and uh, we hit traffic on the interstate. Like, 
all of it. Bumper to bumper stopping traffic for miles. And your trailer lights go over. Yep. On the interstate. Yep. Traffic. Trailer lights decide, I don't know if they got water in them or bounce loose or what, but they quit working and then I got out and moved it around. They started working, so I zip tied it up real tight. And it's still like that now. I ain't even looked at it yet. But um, we stopped off at Center Hill Dam so he could see Caney Fork. He'd never seen it before. Uh, beautiful as always. Uh, super flooded. So that took us about uh, maybe 30 minutes out of the way total. And then uh, we headed on to Yonali. So got to Yonali Friday night and um, got the camper all set up. Looked awesome. I mean, we couldn't see much. Obviously, it was dark, but... Uh, uh, you could just tell out of the gate that it was taken care of. I mean, there was stacked firewood and fire pits and porta potties and fresh grass right yeah, on the campground. Yeah, nice grass. Anything that had been spun on with a tire had been straw. It looked really great. Sh shout out to uh, whoever manages that area. So looked awesome. So uh, we decided we're going to hunt the next morning. We're going to get up and hunt a cutoff cornfield, and um, so that's what we did. We got up and. Uh, got in there early. We did good. We got in there. I, I think we were in on the ground. We were set up by 5:45 before sunup. Uh, that's where that time lapse come from. That's sitting in that cornfield. Also shot a short there, um, panning around that cornfield. So we hunted that for a couple hours, two three hours, and um, didn't see anything. But uh, decided the sun was coming up in our face, so we were going to swap sides of this field so we um, weren't blinded by the sun. So, get up, start walking across this field, and Christian spots another hunter. Yep. Somebody slipped in on us, or we slipped in on somebody by accident. So, part of hunting public land, um, nobody was really in the wrong. It was public land, so everybody was allowed to be there that wanted to be there that had permits. But we decided to bow out, and uh, the other guy was farther back in the field. So we didn't want to mess him up. Um, you know, he didn't want to mess us up, whatever. So we bowed out, went and decided we we're going to hunt behind camp. We had also seen some sign over there. So uh, we ended up going over there, uh, checked out another cutoff cornfield and a little food plot area. There's some shooting lanes and stuff like that through there. Saw some sign, but didn't see any deer and um, decided to pull the plug on the hunt at about noon Saturday. And uh, we were beat tire yeah just that's a lot of camping and it was at night you know it was going down in the 30s or high 20s on the last night so it was my camper stayed warm but i mean it's just rough on your body camping that long and being out of your home and uh so we pulled the plug on the hunt and uh came back out of the woods and actually got stopped by some twra agents uh tennessee wildlife resource agency super nice guys uh talked to them for probably 15 20 minutes yeah uh, they id checked us which way to go um we had both our ids hunt license all that good stuff so we were good and they were good and nice guys and gave us some pointers and all good there good experience and uh so we hit the road and got out of there basically that's what finished up our hunt um had a good trip didn't kill anything uh didn't see anything to kill yeah uh we crazy. definitely Christian, I had been there before, and I, I had been to Catoosa before, but he got to experience some pretty cool stuff. I mean, Catoosa's a very unique, one-of-a-kind place. I mean, it's, it looks like Tennessee, but, man, when you start getting out in it, it is rough and rugged and mountains and, you know, everything that you could put in between awesome that. Awesome place. I had a great, great time, great trip. My right. first time at Catoosa, both of our first times at Unali. Yeah. They're both really nice places. Um, yeah. But as long as we hunted, I seen three squirrels and, a, and maybe a doe. Yeah, I saw one doe the entire hunt. It's pretty wild to be out there hunting that long and only see that. Right. Uh, and it wasn't you know, from lack of trying. I mean, we ended up um, overall, 17 miles walk. 17.4 miles overall between Patusa and Unalis. You know, so. Yeah, and that's not to mention how much we rode on the hunting cart. Uh, trucks, you know, getting two different areas to walk, and that was, you know, split up. So we're covering a lot of land. Covered a lot of ground. But thanks for watching. Um, we'll, I'm sure we'll have some more videos up soon. Um, I'm not done hunting this year. 
fishing season's around the corner now. Uh, got some more stuff coming for that. Should be cool. Got a um, bass boat in the works. Yeah, he's got three different bass boats in the works, or two bass boats and a Jet John. Yeah, Jet John's still going. So you'll be seeing more of that. I'm trying to convince him to get on YouTube. Yeah. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll start a YouTube channel. Oh, it'll be easy. 100 likes. Let's do it, people. 100 likes, yeah. 100 likes and you get to see this goo goo make a youtube channel so. <laughs> but uh yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe it helps me out when y'all subscribe uh, as we get more subscribers i'll do more giveaways um I, at some point when i get enough subscribers i'm going to give my jet john away so let's get there and see what happens thanks guys